Hello, Carla. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. How are you? I am good. Okay, nice, nice. How was your day? You went today or tomorrow? I could. Good. Did you go shopping today? No. Mm, tomorrow? Yes. Okay, cool. So you are ready. And tell me, do you work Saturdays? Do you work no. on Saturdays? No. No work on no Saturdays. Okay, no. help, help me out, please. Me ayuda, por favor. Let's try the microphones. Probamos los micrófonos. This is the first one. This is the first microphone. And this is the second microphone. Which one is better? ¿Cuál es mejor? Primero. The first one. Okay. First. This one then. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. So, how was your day, Carla? Good. Uh, a little tired. Oh, really? A little a tired? A lot of traffic. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Yeah, today traffic must be terrible. Yeah, yeah. I went, I went downtown. I went downtown. Downtown. That means al centro. Okay. I went downtown today in today, and traffic was heavy. And I imagine that now must be terrible. Teacher, eso en, en español, ¿qué quiere decir? Downtown. Es la palabra. Uh -huh. uh, we use it to express, to talk about el centro of a city, okay? Okay. That's downtown. Downtown. Yes, that is downtown. So yeah, I went downtown today and traffic was terrible. Traffic was very, very difficult. Yes. Well, thank you, Carla. There's Walter. Hello, mister. Hello, guys. How are you, Walter? Uh, very well, teacher. And I and I excellent. Okay, let me see. I'm just checking that I got a message from you. Up to the signs by eleven in the morning. In the morning, just in your third sentence. In the morning. Okay, yeah. not of the morning. In the morning. In the morning. Yes. I am sorry, guys, that I didn't check it before, but today has been a heavy day, but we are going to work with it. Don't worry. Don't worry. Okay? Las disculpas del caso para los que ya me enviaron, pero he tenido un día atrasadito, pero today when we finish class, I will check. Cuando terminemos la clase, yo reviso. Okay, teacher. Don't worry. Don't worry. That's... My day ends around 2, 3 a.m., so don't worry, I have time. Mi día termina eso a las 2, 3 de la mañana, así que no se preocupen. I still got a lot of time to work. So let's see, let's see. Walter, tell me, how was traffic for you today? Uh, repeat, teacher. How was traffic for you today? Uh, traffic, um... And Lent. It was a slow, bad traffic. Lent or uh, Low. Okay, yeah, I can imagine. Well, thank you, Walter. Let's see, there's Javier. Javier, hello, good evening. Good evening. Hey, mister, I you? can hear you now. That's good. Okay. I'm fine, I'm fine. How are you tonight? Tell me. Fine, fine. How was your there day? Is a, uh, 
regular day. A regular, regular day. Regular, regular. Regular, regular day. Okay, yeah. What about traffic? Was there a lot of traffic for you today? In some moments, there are a bad traffic. Uh, particularly because a lot of people is like buying stuff. Yeah. Yeah, if you have to pass by a, by a mall, traffic is terrible today. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah but it's good, it's, to really. have it's good to have you here in class, Javier. Thank you very much. Let's see. There's Mariela. Mariela, good evening. How okay. are you? Good evening. Fine, thank you. You doing better? Much better. Oh, that's great. I'm glad to hear that. Excellent. Mm -hmm. So how was your Thank day, you. Mariela? Um, <clears throat> Did you go to work today? No. No. Resting time. No. Yes. Okay. Do you have a leave of absence? Mm -hmm. Look at this sentence. Leave of absence. Leave of absence. absence means incapacidad. Yes. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Okay. Yes, three days. Three days. Well, you can rest and get better. That's nice. Yes. Well, thank you, Mariela. Glad to have you You're here. You're welcome. Let's see. Andrea. Hello, Andrea. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Andrea. How are you tonight? You better? So-so. Oh, so-so. So-so. Still a little bit sick? Yeah. Okay, just give me a second, uh, Andrea. Walter, leave of absence means incapacidad. When you go to the doctor and the doctor tells you, okay, you are not going to work like for two, three days, you have a leave of absence, okay? Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. So let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's continue where I was talking. Oh yeah, Andrea, Andrea, how was your day? Tell me, are you going to work? Are you working these days? Mm, don't, I don't. Oh, really? You are home? Yes. Oh, that's... That's cool. So you are resting. Well, thank you, Andrea. You're welcome. Mr. Alonso Turcios, how are you tonight? I am so bad, teacher. I am sorry. I'm very sick. I am sorry to hear that. Well, resting and take your medicines. That's very important. Okay. Did you start my camera? Oh, yeah. Oh, man. I'm sorry. I know it's difficult, so rest. Today, Alonso, just listen, okay? Today, just listen, okay? That's okay. Fine. You can turn off your camera okay. and just listen. Thank you. No problem, no problem. Just listen, just listen. Thanks. Perfect. Let's see who else is here. Carlos, hello, Carlos. How are you? Hello, teacher. Hello, everybody. Hi, mister. How are you tonight? Fine. How was your day? Oh, is this day is is very busy, but is is more relaxed than another days. Okay, cool. So tell me, uh, what about traffic? We've been talking about traffic. How was traffic for you today? Yes. How was the traffic? Bad? Good? Difficult? Oh, easy. Um, I work to uh, five, uh, 15 minutes. Oh, it took you 15 minutes to from my home. Okay. Yes. Okay. So you, it usually takes you or just today? Normalmente or just today? Usually. Okay. So you have to say it usually takes me uh, 15 minutes from let's see from my job to my house look 
It usually takes me 15 minutes from my job to my house. Okay, Carlos? From my job to my house. Okay. Nice. That's good. 15 minutes. That's cool. Yes. So you don't have that much problem with traffic. Excellent. <laughs> Thank you, Carlos. Helen, okay. good evening. How are you, Helen? Hi, good evening. I find great, great. How was your day, Helen? Uh, regular. Um, regular? With um, a lot of traffic. Oh, yeah. Traffic was difficult for some of us. For algunos de nosotros estuvo duro el tráfico. Yeah, I know. I understand. And tell me, did you go shopping or not shopping today? All days. You went shopping all day for the compra? No, no money. <laughs> no money. No money. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know what you mean. And when there's no money, no honey. <laughs> no money. <laughs> no money, no honey. That means if there's no money, we don't do nothing. If no hay plata, no hacemos nada. Y no honey. Okay, okay. Yeah, I understand you. Yeah. Payday is not yet. Todavía no es payday. Payday. Okay. On Monday. Cool, cool. That's nice. That's nice. Okay, guys. Let's see. Today we are going to work with something very interesting. Yesterday, if you remember, we were talking about uh, schedules and activities, right? And even some of you already sent me some sentences. To the ones that send them, I, I told you before, uh, today when the class finished, I'm going to check because I couldn't early because I was a little bit busy. I was doing some, I was, Look, uh, I'm going to text you this sentence. I was running. Oops, I was running some errands. I was running some errands today. So my day was a little bit busy. That expression, I was running some errands, hmm, in Salvadorian could be like, uh, estuve haciendo mandado. Okay. When you say I was doing some errands, that means that you have different activities to do. Okay. So I was running some errands today, so I had a day a little bit busy. Let's see who else is around. Grecia, good evening, Grecia. How are you? Hi, Mister. Good evening. Good evening, everybody. How are I'm you fine. today? Thank you. Okay, tell me, the question for today is, how was, how was traffic for you? Oh, no, no traffic. There was? Nothing, nothing traffic. Okay, cool. And what about shopping? Did you go shopping? No shopping today. No. <laughs> No shopping, mister. Well, there's the weekend. There's still the weekend. <laughs> well, welcome to the class, Grecia. <laughs> welcome. You. Okay, perfect. Yes, Carla, you were raising your hand. Tell me. Carla, hello. Me levantó la mano, Carla Mariela. Lo siento, sorry. Oh, it was an accident, don't worry. I lowered your hand. Yes. Oh, don't worry. Okay, guys, let's see who else is around. Who else is around? Felicita, hello, Felicita, how are you today? Hello, teacher. Very good. How was your day? Tell me. Um... Normal. <laughs> normal. A regular normal day. day. A normal yeah. day. Okay. Normal day. That's nice. That's nice. 
Okay, let's see who else is around. Thank you, Felicita. You're welcome. Yeah, for some of us, it was a little bit difficult. The ones who live in San Salvador or have to drive by or pass by the malls, it's been a little bit difficult. But let's see, what about Fausto? Good evening, Fausto. How are you? Good evening, teacher. How uh, are you tonight? Fine. And tell me, how was traffic for you today? <coughs> oh, a lot of traffic. It was difficult? Yes, difficult traffic. Tell me, how long, how long did it take you from your job to your house? Um, uh, one, one hours uh, and um, 20 or 30 minutes. Okay, so you can tell me it took me around one hour and a half. It took me around one hour and a half. Okay, okay teach. <clears throat> so it was it was a lot of traffic. Do you drive? Where are you driving? Uh I no no today uh no drive. Okay, cool. Yeah, because driving is stressful. Driving with the traffic is uh, very, very yeah. stressful. <laughs> Okay, thank you, Paul. Yes, stressful. You're welcome, teacher. What about you, Carlos? Did you go to the airport today? Hello. Hey, Carlos. Yes, you have your microphone open. I can hear. Did you go to the airport today, Mr. Carlos Bautista? Oh, no, today I don't went to airport. Oh, okay, okay, listen, perfect, perfect, nice. Today I didn't. didn't. I, exactly, <laughs> today I didn't go. I didn't okay. go to the airport. Wow. Uh, yes, tell me. Sometimes, sometimes I, I go to the airport. It's not frequently. 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 Okay. Right. Oh, that's nice. So, yeah, because that driving is uh, terrible. Oh, correct. Yes, it's a long. Uh, it's, a, it's a long way. It's a it's long, long way. way. Está lejos. Mm -hmm. You can say it's far. It's far, or you can say it is a long way from here. It is a long way from here. Okay? Both expressions are expressing that it's far. Las dos ideas expresan que está Yeah, I know. Okay. I have, well, I have gone to the airport many times and I have, I have gone by car and by motorcycle. Man, it's terrible. <laughs> it is terrible. Thank you, Carlos. Okay. Let's see, let's see who else is here before we start. Hey, there's Eliani. Eliani, good evening. How are you? Okay. Good evening. How are you tonight? Very well. And you? I'm just great. Thank you. So you you got your internet back? Yes. That's nice. That's nice. I'm glad that they fixed your problem so you can be here in class. Well, guys. Let's start with the, let me see, let me see. We're going to start with the attendance. So give me just a second. Let me just open my file. And I can take the attendance for today's class. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Okay, here it is. So let's see, Fausto Antonio Landa Verde. Present. Carla Maria Los Guevara Callejas. Present. Mariela de Los Ángeles Alvarado Díaz. Present. Carla Colocho de Parada. Eliani Alejandra Nativi. Present. Thank you. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present teacher. Thank you. Soy la Noemí Córdoba de Valencia. Here. 
Carlos Alberto Bautista Bonilla. Thank you. Yesenia de Lourdes Magaña Sandoval. Jorge Alexander Reyes López. Blanca Margarita Chávez Pérez. Felicita Cruz de Pereira. Present. Grecia Yulisa Pereira de Villegas. Present. Helen María Chávez Quintanilla. Present. Giovanni Vladimir Escamilla. Absent. And let's see. Francisco Javier Villatoro Canales. Present. Thank you. Alonso Antonio Turcios Brizuela. Present. Thank you. Andrea Natalie Espinalo Mansor. Present. Wendy Azucena Pérez. Absent. And Pedro Antonio Hernández. We are just waiting. Let's see. Okay, guys. Well, today we are going to continue talking about activities. So in activities, but uh, a little bit different because we are going to talk about plan events at the workplace. Today we start unit number three. Okay. The unit number three, the name of the unit is schedule events at the workplace. Schedule events at the workplace. So let's see. Um, Mr. Mr. Javier, tell me who schedules who schedules the event or who schedules the, the job the activities in your workplace? This is the question, look. Who schedules the events at your workplace? Tell me, Javier. Who schedules the events uh, at your workplace? Events, what are some events. Like? Events. Okay, just the first question. Who schedules the events at your workplace? Who schedules the events uh, at your workplace? Quien programa? Uh, ¿qué, ¿Qué programación? Okay? ¿Algo así es? ¿Quién? Oh, ¿quién programa? Yes, the person. Oh. Uh, there is no... No definite, uh, definite people to program the schedule. Okay, so... Sometimes uh, are me, sometimes are... Our other co-worker. Okay. Sometimes it is me. It is me. Okay. And sometimes it is somebody else. Somebody else. Okay. Or somebody another, else. Or another co-worker. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. What about you, Eliani? Tell me, who schedules the, the events, the activities in your workplace? Uh. Uh, the planification. Yes, who? Quien? Who schedules? Uh, Quien programa? Es una área específica. Oh. oh, okay. So there's a person in charge of the activities, of planning the activities. How many people? Oh, that's interesting. Interesting. What about you, Carlos? Thank you, Eliani. What about you, Carlos? Tell me. Who schedules the events in your workplace? In my case, uh, some activities are programmed by my boss. Okay. And, and another activity is uh, I, uh, I serve uh, the schedule. Oh, really? So, my, so some of the activities, you are the one who programs them? Yes, sir. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. I imagine that it's according to the need. Me imagino que de acuerdo a la necesidad. Yes. Oh, that's yeah. excellent. Excellent, excellent. Thank you, Carlos. What about you, Fausto? Tell me. In my case, <clears throat> um, he is my, my boss. Okay, so he programs your activities for the week or weekly or monthly? Uh, weekly. Weekly. Yeah, I know that. I yes, know uh, uh, I, a lot of activities, uh, uh, solo que no, no, no hay como una hora específica. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sino so, que 
You have the number of the activities yes. and you distribute the time. Yes. Okay. Yes. Hay un momento para hacer, para hacer algo. Como eso no lo puedo decir, no, no, no puedo estructurarlo en inglés. Ok, ya. Yeah. Uh, hay, hay, hay momentos que se necesita hacer ciertas, ciertas cosas, como preparar pedidos, o a veces realizar trámites, ya sea a un banco, a alcaldías. So, what you mean is this, that some activities come with the position. Mm -hmm. Some activities are exactly due to the position. Algunas actividades vienen ya con el puesto. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and you have to distribute your time. Perfect. Excellent. Excellent. Okay, guys. Now, we are going to start speaking in English, okay? Let's try to do it in English, everybody. I know that it's hard. I know that it's hard, but we are going to do it like this. Look, the second question. What are some events that are taking place the next week okay we are going to talk about the events that are taking place the next week we are going to work i'm going to divide you in three groups okay and what you are going to do is to tell the other person at least three activities you have planned for next week okay you're going to tell your classmates at least three activities you have planned for next week, with the only exception of Alonso. Alonso is today just a listener, okay? He's the only one who's not going to be speaking. He's just going to be listening, right? So let's start. Let's see. Let's see. No problem, Alonso. No problem. So let's start. You are going to be in three groups. Let's see. No, let's do it better so we can go faster. I'm going to divide you in four groups. Okay, guys, let's see. Let me just check the groups. Perfect. Okay, right now the groups are created. Please jump in. Pero ahí vamos a usar I need. I need, no. No dijo nada de No, eso. I didn't say nothing like that. You just need to tell. Okay. You can, okay. Use, you can use I need to or you can use I have to. Okay. What okay. I want to know are just the activities. Si no solamente mencione las actividades. Like, okay, for next week, para la próxima semana. Let's see. What are some of the activities you have to do, Carlos, for next week? Uh, the next week I uh, need to the bank. Okay. You just tell your classmates, go to the bank. That's all. That's one, okay? Yes. What would be uh, another one? Uh, the next week I uh, uh, present reports in Dirección Nacional de Medicamentos. Okay, present report. The present report. Okay. In Dirección Nacional de Medicamentos. At. 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 And. <clears throat> vamos a ver. Uh, I need present a final reports of the month. Okay, the final. Monday. To your classmates to copy okay hurry up hurry up hurry up i have to meet the daily calls she has to i have to meet the daily calls, calls. she has to daily Goals, metas, no sé cómo se pronuncia la Goals, goals. 
Goals. Goals. Goals. Six benefits, delivery, design, the clients. Uh -huh. Design, the clients. Correct, correct. Plan okay. and deliver. Plan and deliver. Plan, Plan and delivery. Deliver. Deliver. Es, eh, es ir, a de, ir a dejar, ¿verdad? Deliver. Correcto. Deliver. ¿Te puede ser entregar también, teacher? Yes, exactly. Ah, ok, mm. eso es. Entonces es plan and deliver. Correcto. Plan and deliver. Design. Deliver. 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 Yes. Deliver. Design yeah. to client. Eh, Correcto. Ok. Okay. ¿Otra de Walter o decimos una nosotros, Andrea? Si quieres, digan una ustedes y la anotamos por, por que no va a ser con el tiempo. Okay. Yes. Entonces, in my, ca in my case, um, the next weekend. No, week, next cal week. The next week. Calculate. My client taxes. 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 Calcular los impuestos para mis clientes. Yeah. yeah. That's horrible. It's very nice, teacher. I hate taxes. No. No. Oh, believe me. And very important. <laughs> yes. But in my case, I have to pay every... I have to pay every year. So, it's no good. A mí me toca pagar. Oh, uh, Believe repeat, me. Repeat, please, Grecia. It hurts. Repeat. Sorry, please, Mr. Grecia. Grecia, repeat the sentence to Walter, please. Okay. Okay. Okay, Walter. Okay. Calculate. My clients. Taxes. Calculate my clients. Taxes. Se le oye entrecortado. My clients. Taxes. 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 Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So you are an accountant. Correct. Oh, that's nice. Okay, you will do my taxes next time. Yeah. Okay, okay. Mr. Andrea. Mrs. Mrs. Miss. Okay. <laughs> Please. Andrea. Andrea. Sorry. Miss. I'm sorry. Miss. Andrea, are you married or single? Single. Single. Oh, Andrea is single. Miss. 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 Grecia Excuse is, me. Excuse Grecia me. Grecia is Miriam. Mrs. So Grecia is Mrs. Mrs. Yeah. Mrs. Grecia yes. is Mrs. Villegas. Mrs. Okay. Yes. And Andrea is Miss. 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 Final. Oh. Just remember okay. something. In, in Spanish, we use the title with just the name. In English, we use the title just with the last name. In English, we use the Mr., el Miss, el Misos, solo con el apellido, or with the full name, o con el nombre completo, but not just with the first okay. name, pero no con el primer nombre, okay? Okay, teacher. So, you can tell her just Andrea, and it's okay. Okay, order. Order. Documentation. Hello, guys. Hello. Yeah. Alonso se nos salió, ¿verdad? Creo que sí. Yeah, well, yes. he is very sick. So, sí. we have to understand, él está bastante mal. Okay, guys, let's see. You finish? Me falta una de Carlita, me tengo dos. Ok. You just Teacher. got two minutes. Yes, tell me, Carla. Eran 
las actividades que vamos a hacer la otra semana. Yes. O eventos, decía, no sé. Activities. Es lo mismo. Yes. Hello, Pedro. Good evening. Hola. Hello, hello, hello. Don't worry, everybody's coming from the breakout room. Don't be ya del breakout room. Don't worry. I just arrived. No problem, Pedro. It's good to have you here in class. It's great to have you. Thank you, teacher. Okay, we are just going to wait for... Solamente esperamos por los demás. Ah, perfecto. In a few seconds, they are coming. Okay. Okay, let's see. Wow, I got more people here. That's nice. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see. Let's see, teacher. Okay, let's see, guys. Mariela, tell me about, uh, tell me two activities from your classmates, please. Um... No anoté. <laughs> Come on, then tell me two of yours, please. I have to receive invoices. Okay. I need to make my report weekly. My weekly report. My weekly report. <laughs> Perfect, thank you. Carlos, what about you? Tell me, tell me about your classmates. Okay, Felicita, for example, she needs prepare report monthly. Okay, she needs to prepare. She needs to prepare a report monthly. Perfect, and excellent. Marielos, she needs to match payroll. Okay. And Marielos no or Mariela? Marielos, Mariela, I don't know, I don't see good. <laughs> okay, let's see, let's see. Just give me okay. a second, Carlos, because let's see, Carlos, you were not working with Mar you were working with Mariela. Ah, uh, Mariela. Yes. Okay, okay. Mariela. And, and Noemi, she needs to prepare a report of account receivable. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Excellent. Fausto, what about you? Tell me. Hi, profe. Hi, teacher. Sorry. No problem. No problem. No problem. <laughs> uh, my classmates, um, uh, Eliani and Francisco. Uh, for example, Eliani uh, has two daily calls. Yes. And she has two quality record. And Francisco, he has to plan it to register a domain. Register. Register a domain. Okay. And he has to give the first tip uh, for getting a partner. Okay, excellent. Very well done. Now, let's see, Grecia, tell me about your classmates. Uh, 
Okay, teacher. My class names is Andrea and Walter. Okay, my classmates yeah. are plural. Okay, my classmates are Andrea and Walter. Okay, tell me about them, please. Okay, uh, Andrea's activities order documentation pen pending to be added. Okay, excellent. And enter information in the municipal financial um, management system. Management. Management system. Okay. And Walter, okay. plan, deliver, design the clients. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for you, Mr. Noemi. Tell me, Noemi. Okay, tell me two activities you have to do next week, Noemi. Okay. I need to prepare reports of account receivable. I was it. Yes, okay. I have to check and pay payroll. Have to check and pay payroll. So, delicate. Very delicate. Yes. Okay. And I need to prepare the accounts payable okay. the next week. Payable accounts. Payable account. Payable accounts. Yes, you have to turn it the other way. Okay, excellent, excellent, excellent. Let's see, Helen. Hello, Helen. Tell me about your classmates, please. Uh, my classmate is Carla. Okay, tell me about Carla. Carla activity. Carla, um, say, Carla has to check products. Uh, Carla has to serve customer. Okay. And Carla uh, needs to order product. Okay, she needs to order product. Okay, product. those are her activities. Very well, very well. Excellent, yeah. excellent. Now let's see, just give me a second, just give me a second. Okay, perfect. I'm sorry, guys. Now, let's see, guys. I'm sorry for the rest of you, but uh, the exercise was mostly for you to speak among yourselves. Now, let me please introduce you to a different topic. We are going to work with a different uh, tense. Vamos a trabajar con un tiempo verbal distinto, okay? So, let me see. I'm going to share with you a small presentation that I prepared for you. And is this, let's see. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. What happened here? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Something went wrong here. Okay. Let me do it like this. And I'm going to do it again. Perfect goes like this. Okay. Okay, guys. Today we are going to talk about the present continuous. The present continuous. What is the present continuous? Well, usually the present continuous, it is used to express activities that we are performing right in the moment that we are speaking. So, when we use the present continuous, we are talking about activities that we are performing right now, in this moment. Like, right now, I am speaking. And are listening to me. I am watching some of you. Okay? I am seeing, uh, I am seeing that Mariela is playing with her pen. You see? That is happening right in this moment. I am seeing 
I am watching Pedro write down because he's doing it in this moment, right? And Carlos is scratching his head. You see, that's happening in this moment, right? So when I use the present continuous or present progressive is the same. I am talking about actions that are happening exactly in this moment, right? I am watching you, you are listening to me. Felicita is nodding, you see? That is happening in this exact moment, okay? Now, let's talk about the structure. Talk about the present continuous, we use the verb be as an auxiliary, okay? In this case, the verb be is auxiliary. Am, um, are, is, is the auxiliary. And the main verb of the sentence, we add ing, okay? I am playing, you are playing, he is playing, she is playing, it is playing, we are playing, you are playing, they are playing. That's for the affirmative form. When we talk about present continuous. Look, look at some examples. I am writing an exercise now, in this moment, right? Now, ahora, in this instant. Sam is playing football now. The children are writing at the moment. At the moment means in this moment. We are going to the cinema. My father is reading a book now. So you see, in this case, am is the auxiliary. ing is added to the verb. In this case, write is a verb that ends in the letter e. Write termina normalmente en e. But when we add ing, we cross out the e and add ing. Para convertirlo, le quitamos la e en ing. Playing. In this case, you see, we just add ing and that's okay. Sam is playing. The children are writing at the moment. We are going. My father is reading. So this is the auxiliary. Am um, is are, and the rest is the verb in the ing form. Now, for the negative form, what we do is that uh, in present continuous, what we do is to add the not to the verb be. So in this case, I am not playing. You are not playing. Okay, guys, give me just a second. Give me just a second that somebody is having problems getting to the class. Give me just a second, please. I'm sorry. Okay, because, oh, oh, Blanca is trying to get into the class. Let's see. Hmm. No, it's not. Okay, guys, just give me a second because I need something. I'm sorry. Tengo una compañera que está teniendo problemas para ingresar. Eh, does anyone of you got the, tenemos el link. Para la clase, guys. I'm looking for it. Alonso envió un link. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let me see because uh, this classmate is having problems. Problems, problems, problems. Okay, yeah, thank you, Mr. Mr. Brizuela. Perfect. Gracias, muy amables. Perfect. Okay, let's. I'm sorry, let's go back to the presentation. Let me. 
here and where, uh, where was I? Oh, okay, we were talking about the negative. In the negative, I am not playing. You are not playing, he is not playing. So you see, it's very simple. The only thing we do is to add not to the verb be, okay? And that's the negative form. So in this case, I am saying, okay, look, if you see, I am, I am talking to you, right? You are listening to me, affirmative sentence. Negative sentence, you are not speaking, right? In this moment, you are not speaking. So for the negative form, the only thing we do is not. Hello, Blanca. Welcome. Okay, let's see, let's see. Let me continue, guys. Look at the examples. I am not writing an exercise now. Sam is not playing football now. The children are not writing, writing at the moment. We are not going to the cinema. My father is not reading a book now. So in this case, we are expressing actions that are not happening, okay? In the moment that the sentence is said, right? And if you see the auxiliary B, then comes not, then comes the verb in the ing form, okay? Now, when we want to make questions for the interrogative form, the only thing we do is verb be at the beginning. Am I playing? Are you playing? Is he playing? Is she playing? Is it playing? Are we playing? Are you playing? Are they playing? It's very simple, no? Look at the examples. Am I writing an exercise now? Is Sam playing football now? Are the children writing at the moment? Are we going to the cinema? Is my father reading a book now? Okay, any question up to here? A question, teacher? Yes, tell me. In the form negative, uh, I can abbreviate. In the negative form. Yes, you can say Sam isn't playing. The kids aren't writing. We aren't going to the cinema. My father isn't reading a book now. Yes, you can abbreviate, no problem. Okay, teacher, thank you. You're welcome. So let's see, let's continue. Okay, guys, now let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, let's see who's going to help me. Who's going to be helping me in this moment? Okay, give me a second. I got everybody here. And this question goes to Francisco Javier. Tell me, excuse me, which is the correct option? Am, is, are, do, don't, does, doesn't. Do. Do? Let's see, excuse me, do you speak English? Perfect, in this case, it's simple present because if you see the verb is not an ing. Thank you very much, mister. Now, let's see. Welcome. Next sentence. Uh, next sentence goes to Blanca. Blanca? Where's Marta? I? Hola. Yes, Blanca, yeah. what is the option? I can see very well, but... Where's I... Martha? I space no. I am no, I is no, I are no, I do know or I don't know. Um, I am no. In this case, Martha is still simple. Uh, Blanca, I'm sorry. 
to present. I, ah. don't, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, don't okay. worry, don't worry, don't worry. Eliani, can you see the sentence? ¿Puede ver la oración, Eliani? No. Okay, okay. Let's do it different, guys. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. We can do the exercise different. Now, what I needed you to remember is this. When we talk, when we use this, the present continuous, usually we use it to express actions that are happening in this moment, right? Yes, we understand that. Now, today's class is a little bit different because we are going to use present continuous in order to express future. Okay. In English, when we talk about the future, there are different types of future. There's the future with will. There's the future with be going to. There's the future with present continuous. Okay. Now, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's do it this way. Just to, for you to get an idea, okay? Solo para que tengamos una idea. I'm going to show you something. Okay, look. I will play soccer. I am going to play soccer. I am playing soccer. In this case, all these activities are talking about the future. They are different types of future, okay? These three sentences are expressing a different type of future. And today we are going to work with the last sentence. Look, I am playing soccer tomorrow. You see? I was telling you a few minutes ago that we use, I am playing to talk about things that are happening in this moment. But when I say I am playing tomorrow, I'm talking about future. And it's a different type of future. Now, how do we do that? What do we express with that? Okay, we are going to use the manual right now. Vamos al manual, okay? We go to page number 29, and we are going to start, we are going to go slow in order to get to it. Okay, first, we are going to start with the, with the conversation, okay? Because we are going to work today, we are going to describe future work events. Now, listen to the pronunciation of the conversation, guys. Hello, Henry. I have a question. Who is representing the company in the yearly conference? Hey, Peter. Well, Maria is. But Julie is attending the conference this year, too. So, I see. But if Julie is attending, who is delivering the presentations for the CEO next week? Guess what? I am. I am, I am presenting with Hector, the new accountant. Sounds great. So I am informing the committee about it. Question about the vocabulary, guys? Is there any question about the vocabulary? Preguntas con el vocabulario? En la última parte de Peter Teacher, Comedy. 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 Yes, sounds great. So I am informing the committee about it. I will pronounce it again. Hello, Henry. I have a question. Who is representing the company in the yearly conference? Hey, Peter. Well, Maria is, but Julie is attending the conference this year too. So I see. But if Julie is attending, 
who is delivering the presentations for the CEO next week? Guess what? I am. I am with Hector, the new accountant. Sounds great. So I am informing the committee about it. Okay. First, guys, we are going to practice the conversation. I send it to you already. You are going to have uh, you are going to have just two minutes. Switch roles. Then we come back. We do it fast because we need to cover more today. We need to cover part of the grammar explanation from the book. So we are going to do it fast. Let me just recreate the the groups. Okay, let's see. Okay, groups are created. Just give me a second. Okay, let's see, let's see. Perfect. Okay. Just a second, a second, guys. I'm sorry. Because I have a problem with uh, somebody here. Okay, Join me, jump in, please. We have all the groups ready. Let's do it. Okay, Alonso, in your case, stay here, okay? No problem. Thank you, teacher. France is year two, two, so? I see, but if Julie is attending, how is delivering the representation for the CEO next week? Guess what? I am. I am presenting with Hector, the new account. Sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're going to work together. Okay. Hi, Carlos. Hi, Peter. How are you? <laughs> uh, this year, too. So? I see. But if Julie is attending, who is delivering the presentations for the CEO next week? Guess what? I am. I am presenting with Hector. The new accounting. Sounds great. So I am. Who is representing? The company in the yearly conference. Yearly, yearly, yearly conference. <laughs> hey Peter, well Maria is, but Jolly is attending the conference this year too. So I see, but. If Yuli is attending, who is delivering the presentations for the CEO next week? Guess what? I am. I am presenting with Hector, the new accountant. Sounds great. So I am informing 
a comedy about it. Okay. Did you switch roles? Okay. Yeah. Hello, Henry. I have a question. Who is represent? Eh. Oh, teacher, no sé si no lo puede compartir. No sé cómo se podría, porque no me, no sé por qué no me aparece la opción para poder compartir ahí a la pantalla. Sí, se las mandé al WhatsApp. Al WhatsApp está. Yep, I just send it. Se las mandé a todos. Okay. El grupo. El grupo. Sí, ahí está. Ah, ya la vi. Ya, ya, ya sí. ¿Ya la vio? Sí, ya la, ya la encontré. Sí, bye. bye. Comencemos. Hello, Henry. I have a question. Who is representing the company in the yearly uh, conference? Oh, next week? Yes, but I am uh, present with Hector, the new accountant. Sound great. So I am informing the committee, 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 committee. About it. Okay, Pastor. When do you start? Teacher, sorry, yes. sorry. A pronunciation of the committee. Committee. Is correct? Yes, it is correct. Okay, thank you, Teacher. You're welcome. Okay, Walter. You start. Uh, I start, okay. Um, Hello, Henry. Okay, let's see, everybody's coming. Yes, everybody's here. So let's start with uh, Liani and Noemi. Please, you start, ladies. Okay. Hello, Henry. I have a question. Who is representing the company in the yearly conference? Hey, Peter. Well, Maria is, but Julie is attending the conference this year too, so. I see, but if Julie is attending, who is delivering the presentation for the CEO next week? Well, glad I am. I am representing with Hector, the new accountant. Sounds great. So I am informing the committee about it. Perfect. Very well done. Excellent. Excellent work. Blanca and Helen, please. Okay. Hello, Henry. I have a question. Who is representing the company in the general conference? Hey, there, well, Maria is, but Julie is attending the conference this year too, so? I see, but if Julie is attending, who is delivering the presentations for the CEO next week? Yes, what? I am, I am presenting with Hector, the new Aconta. Sounds great. So I am forming the committee about it. Okay, perfect, the committee. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Gracia. Mariela, please. We'll start. Okay, yeah, please. Okay. Hello, Henry. I have a question. Who is representing the company in the yearly conference? Hey, Peter. Well, Maria is about Julie is attending the conference this, I'm sorry, this year too. So I see. But if Julie is attending, 
who is delivering the presentation for the CEO next week? Guess what? I am. I am presenting with Hector, the new accountant. Sounds great. So I am informing the committee about it. Perfect. Excellent. Well done, ladies. Just remember presenting. I am presenting. Okay. 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 Now, Felicida and Carla Maria Luz. Hello. Necesito que me compartan ahí la. It's there already. Please, please. Ya está ahí. Yeah, thank you. Hello, Henry. I have a question. Who is representing the company in the yearly conference? Hey, Peter. Well, Maria is, but Julie is attending the conference this year too. So. I see, but if Julie is attending, who is delivering the presentations for the CEOs next week? Was that I am I am presenting with Hector, the new accountant. So great. So I informing the committee about it. Perfect. Excellent. Just remember presentation. Guess what? Guess. Informing. Informing. Sounds yeah. great. Okay, well done. Well done, ladies. Excellent. Yeah. Now let's see. Andrea, Natalie, and Francisco Javier, please. Okay. Hello, Henry. I have a question. Who is representing the company in the yearly conference? Hey, Peter. What? Maria is, but Julie is attending the conference this year too. So. I see. But if Julie is attending, who is delivering the presentation for the CEO next week? Guess what? I am. I am presenting with Hector, the new accountant. Sounds great. So I am informing the committee about it. Perfect. Great pronunciation, guys. Uh, let's see, Fausto and Walter. Um, okay, Walter, I start. Hello, Walter, I have a question. Who, rep who is representing the company in the Charlie conference? Hi, Peter. Well, <clears throat> Maria is both. Julie is attending the conference this year too, so, so. I see. But if Julie is attending, who is delivering the presentation for the CEO next week? Yes, but I am uh, presenting with Hector, the new accountant. Sounds great. So I am informing the committee about it. Perfect. Excellent. Now let's see. Uh, Carlos and Pedro, okay? Let me just share it with you guys. There you go. Carlos, you start. Okay. Hello, Henry. I have a question. Who is represent representing the company in the yearly conference? Pedro. Sorry, sorry. No problem, no problem. Uh, hey, Peter. Well, Maria is, but Julie is attending the conference this year too, so. I see, but if Julie is attending, who is delivering the representation for the CEO next week? Guess what? I am um, presenting with Hector, the new accountant. Sounds great. So I am informing the committee about it. Perfect, committee, committee. Excellent, excellent. So listen guys, 
Hello, Henry. I have a question. Who is representing the company in the yearly conference? Hey, Peter. Well, Maria is, but Julie is attending the conference this year too. So, I see. But if Julie is attending, who is delivering the presentations for the CEO next week? Guess what? I am. I am presenting with Hector, the new accountant. Sounds great. So I am informing the committee about it. Okay, guys. Now, do you know what is a CEO? CEO. CEO is like, imagine that in a company, there's a board of directors, okay? So the main one, the main one, the one that is on top of everything, that's the CEO, the president of the company, okay? That's the CEO. Now, let's continue, guys. The meaning is chill, executive officer. Yeah, it's like the chairman. Uh, man, I don't... The thing is this, I'm sorry, the problem is that I know the words in English to explain it, but... In Spanish, I don't know if we have a word like that. It's like, es el presidente de la compañía, okay? Mm -hmm. The main, but we are talking about the main one, el principal, because companies, some companies, they have more than one. Some companies, they have, they have a board of directors. Algunas compañías tienen una mesa de directores, un directorio. But the main one, the principal, that's the CEO. Okay, guys, now I need you to notice something. We did the pronunciation, but I need you to notice something here. Look, in this case, we are talking, okay, who is representing the company in the yearly conference? In this case, the conference has not happened yet. Todavía no ha sucedido. And Henry says, Julie is attending the conference this year too. In this case, they are talking about a conference that is not taking place in this moment. Están hablando de una conferencia que no está pasando en este momento. We are talking about the future. Okay? That's why it's... But if Julie is attending, who is delivering the presentations for the CEO? Guess what? I am. I am presenting with Hector. Of course, this sentence is not talking about this moment. Desde luego, esta oración no está hablando de este momento. Because in this moment, Henry is talking with Peter. So they are talking about the future. You see? It's the future, the one that we are talking about. So, we are talking about this. We are using the present continuous for future events. We use present continuous to talk about arrangements for events at a time later than now. Look, this is the key. We use present continuous for two different things. About, One uh, is to talk about something that is happening right in this moment. Now, okay? Subject. One of the uses we do for present continuous is this. We use it to talk about something that is happening right in this moment. And we use it for something that is arranged. Planeado. Okay? Something that is arranged at a time later than now. Para un momento posterior ahora. Okay. I'm sorry, guys. Before we continue, I'm sorry, but I need to take the attendance. Okay, let's see. Pausa Antonio Landa Verde. Present. Carla María Los Guevara Callejas. Present. Mariela de Los Ángeles Alvarado Díaz. Present. Carla Colocho. Absent. Eliani Alejandra Nativi. Present. Walter Mauricio Morales. Present. Soy la Noemí Córdoba de Valencia. Present. Carlos Alberto Bautista Bonilla. Present. Yesenia de Lourdes Magaña Sandoval. Jorge Alexander Reyes López. Blanca Margarita Chávez Pérez. Present. Thank you. Felicita Cruz de Pereira. Present. Grecia Yulisa Pereira de Villegas. Present. Helen Maria Chávez Quintanilla. Present. Thank you. 
Giovanni Vladimir is absent. Francisco Javier Villatoro Canales. Present. Alonso Antonio Turcios Brizuela is present. And present. Perfect. Uh, Andrea Natalie Espinalo Mansor. Present. Wendy Azucena Perez Hernandez. Absent. And Pedro Antonio Hernandez present. Okay. Now, as I was telling you guys, we use the present continuous for two different things. The first one for something that is happening right in this moment. Like I am talking to you right now. Okay. In this case, it's very important that we pay attention to the time, time expression, or sometimes the context is the one telling us what are we using it for? Because the context tells us if we are talking about the future or if we are talking about this moment. Like in this moment, I am scratching my head, you see? But uh, I am teaching a class tomorrow morning. It is arranged, it is set already. Es algo que ya tengo preparado, okay? I am teaching a class tomorrow in the morning. You see? That's an activity that has been planned already. Es una actividad que ya fue planeada, ya ha sido planeada. In that situation, I use the present continuous to express something, an activity that has been arranged, okay? Questions about it? Up to here, preguntas? No? Teacher. Yes, tell me. For a better, um, for better um, understand. Para entenderlo mejor. Okay, look. Um, si digo, okay, en este momento estoy recibiendo una clase. Y um, estoy hablando en el presente continuo. Pero si digo, eh, este año ya estoy recibiendo clases. Estoy hablando de la misma fórmula. Yes, you are talking about, I am, I am receiving classes this year. But in the second situation, it, is, it, it doesn't necessarily need to be happening at this moment. Like, yeah. listen, listen. Uh, I am teaching classes all Saturdays since la, last month. I am teaching classes on Saturdays morning. It's not in this moment. It's yeah. in the future. But the difference is this. We use this type of future when we talk about something that is arranged. Cuando hablamos de algo que ya está arreglado. Because I am teaching, uh, I am teaching two two kids tomorrow in the morning, and I I have communication with their father. Ya me comuniqué con el papá, and we have the arrangement that every Saturday from eight thirty to ten thirty, I teach them English. So that happens regularly. Hola. It's not happening in this moment. Hola. It's going to happen. Ay, no, eso me hizo... It's going to happen in the future. Okay, it's going yeah. to happen tomorrow in a few hours, but not today. Now, the difference is this. This activity is planned, it's arranged. Ya se hicieron los arreglos para esa actividad. Okay, so when you say, oh, imagine that you are talking to your, to a co-worker of yours. Imagínese que está hablando con un compañero de trabajo. And you tell your co-worker, hey, I am, I am receiving classes every day from eight to 10, okay? You are talking about a future event because you don't see your coworkers right now. You see them in, during the day. Imagínese que son las dos de la tarde y usted le dice, su compañero le dice, este, mira Francisco, vamos a, let's go play soccer tonight. Vamos a jugar soccer esta noche. Usted le dice, oh, I'm sorry, I can't. I am receiving classes every day at night. You are talking about the future. But this future is arranged. Pero es un futuro que ya fue planeado. When we use the future with will, un futuro con will, that's, uh, that's something that can happen or can not. Eso es algo que puede pasar o que no puede pasar. Okay? Because we say, Como oh. decir, uh, I will never arrange a class. Yeah. 
Oh, Francisco, tell me, you know what, teacher? I will never miss a class. Yes, but that's for sure. Perhaps tomorrow you don't have connection. Okay. There's no electricity. You see? That's the idea. It's uh, improbably in future. Yes, when we use it with will, yes, it is. When you use present continuous, it's arranged. When we use present continuous, it's programmed. Okay. okay? Any question, guys? Thank you. Any other question? It's good when you ask me. No? Okay, let's practice a little bit. Let's go back to the book. Let's go back to the manual, okay? Okay, let's see. The first exercise, we are going to work with the structure. We have sentences here. We are talking in page number 30. On scramble the following words to create sentences. Can you see the sentences? Podemos ver las oraciones? Yes or no? If not, I'll send them to you. Si no, so, so, teacher. Okay, I will send them no. to you to the, to the group. I will take a picture of it. Give me just a second. Le tomo una foto y se las mando. Okay. It's there in the group already. Ya está en el grupo. Okay, you have there six sentences. Number one is done for you. Number one says, let me see, just give me a second. I need to do this. Okay. Number one says, Jose is receiving the new, Jose is receiving the new workers tomorrow. Okay. Jose is receiving the new workers tomorrow. Sentence number two. Blanca, tell me, what is the correct order? Is Mark is sending the letter the next week. Perfect, miss. Thank you very much. Now, let's see. The next one goes to Andrea. Natalie, you've been too quiet today. Number three. Three. Yes. Jay, Jay is working on the reports tonight. Perfect. Excellent. Thank you very much. Carlos, number four. Okay. Walter is seeing today. Okay. Walter is signing. Walter is signing today. Mm, the checks today. Checks today. Always Wal perfect. Yes, yes, yes. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Walter is signing the checks today. Perfect. Excellent, Carlos. Remember, guys, the time expression always at the end. Okay? Always at the end. Pausto, you got number five. Uh, Marina is uh, pronunciation the organizing. 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 Organizing uh, the presentation in the afternoon. Perfect. Excellent. Eliani, number six. Guillermo is going to the bank. When? Cuando? Tomorrow. Oh, Guillermo tomorrow. is to the bank tomorrow. Perfect. Okay, okay, okay. Now, guys, we will have to do a different type of activity today. We need to create a conversation about some scheduled events at your workplace. Now, do you remember? Do you remember that you have that you have some activities? Well, actually, you were doing five activities. ¿Se recuerdan que teníamos una actividad en la que teníamos que hacer cinco, cinco actividades de nuestro trabajo? Yes. Now we are going to use them. Ahora lo vamos a usar. But we are going to use them. We are going to create a conversation using 
some of those ideas, you cannot use, you don't need to use them all. Some of them, two or three, using the present continuous for future. I'll give you an example. Let's see, let's see. Uh, Francisco and words, uh, Blanca, open your microphones, please. Microphone open. Okay, thank you very much. Hey, Francisco, how are you? Hey, teacher, fine, thank you. What about Tell you? Me. I'm just fine. Tell me, Francisco, uh, what are you doing Monday on Monday morning? Um, I do in the morning, on Monday morning. First thing to do is... Um, I am? I am going to the work. Okay, perfect. What about you, Blanca? What are your activities for next weekend? For next week, I'm sorry. Um, I am visiting my parents during the weekend. Okay, I am visiting my clients during the week. You see, that's what we are going to do, guys. Is it clear now? Entendemos ahora la actividad? So, so. But not just one activity, at least three. Okay? In the conversation. Teacher, yes, repeat Blanca? the question, please. What, again. what are you doing? What are you doing? And then comes the moment, like tomorrow, weekend, on Saturday, on Sunday morning. Okay? Or just next week could be another option. What are you doing next week? Okay. Do you understand the activity? Yes? Perfect, guys. Teacher, teacher, teacher. Yes? Yeah. The question, what are you, uh, what are you doing is... Siempre va a ser así? In this case, remember, I am using the present continuous to express future. Mm -hmm. Lo que me da a entender a mí que la pregunta está en futuro es la time expression al final. El momento que se dice que, que, o que se está preguntando. Porque le estoy diciendo, what are you doing next week? Yeah. Okay. What are you doing on Sunday? Ahora es Friday. Okay. Faltan dos días para Sunday. Sunday es en el futuro. So, la time expression is telling you that talking about the future. Okay. Es como que digamos que uh, what are you doing eh, se está utilizando en, en, en presente, pero la... Um, it's, a little bit, it's a little bit complex because in Spanish we don't have a direct translation for that. El, problema, el problemita que tenemos es que en español no tenemos una traducción exacta. Okay? That's the difference. Okay. En español nosotros no usamos eso. Nosotros decimos qué vas a hacer, punto. O qué harás. Those are the two ways we use it. But in English, we are more exact. En inglés somos más exactos para hablar. Okay? ¿Qué estás haciendo la próxima semana? ¿O qué harás la próxima semana? ¿Se sobreentiende yeah. que es un futuro? Yes, of course. Yeah. So, let's forget about trying to think that question and those answers in Spanish. Tratemos de olvidarnos de cómo pensaríamos en español. Just... Do as the little kids. Hagan como los niños chiquitos. Just accept the fact that it express a future. A future arrangement. Hagan como los niños chiquitos. Ellos solamente aceptan el hecho de que es uh, un arreglo para el futuro. Just La that. próxima fecha. Yeah. Don't, don't try to think it in Spanish. No trate de pensar esa idea en español. It doesn't make sense for us. No tiene sentido para nosotros. We do not speak like that. No hablamos así. Ok. But in English, it makes perfect sense because automatically you understand that it's talking about a future arrangement, right? Okay. Okay, guys, now you are going to work. To make it easy, you are going to work in groups of three. Okay, let's see. Perfect. In the case of Alonso, he doesn't need to participate in this activity. Just listen, Alonso. You can join the group and listen.
Jorge, 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 Jorge. Hola, buenos días, buenas noches. Good evening. I'll send you to a group. Nos vamos uniendo ahorita a los grupos. Les voy a enviar un grupo, ¿ok? Ok, gracias. Where is that? Jump in. Ok. No, la próxima semana. Ah, la próxima semana. Mm -hmm. Pero tres, ¿verdad? Or it, could, it could be tomorrow. Remember, make it as a conversation. Háganlo como una conversación. Okay? okay. To, make the, to make it easy, why don't you ask Jorge to ask you? ¿Por qué no en la conversación? Ya que Jorge se nos va uniendo, que él haga la pregunta. And you give the sentences. Okay? The question, okay. Jorge, is what are you doing? Next week. Ah. Okay. What are, what are next week, Helen? What are you doing? What are you doing next week? What are you doing? It's a get running there. Keep playing and ride a bicycle. Mm -hmm. He is planning to ride a bicycle. He is planning to ride a bicycle. He is... Me trago algunas palabritas. No problem, no problem. It's normal, it's normal. Yani. I am study more English. Para responder, para hablar sobre usted sería Eliani is studying English. Eliani is studying English. Ah, uh, is. Yes, but when? ¿Cuándo? The next year. Next year. Next year. Cool. Yeah. Next year. Teacher, is correct si yo pregunto, what are you studying the next year? It's perfect. Okay. 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 Y, y para, para preguntar los proyectos del, del, del año que viene y como... Oh, it's what, simple. It's simple. What are your projects or what are your plans for next year? And... In the answer, they answer to you in present continuous with the mm -hmm. time expression, okay? You ask them, like, I ask you, hey, Blanca, what are your plans for next year? And you tell me, oh, I am studying, I am studying English next year. I am buying a, buying a car. You see? Ah, okay. What are Es que yo había puesto, what projects are you doing for the next year? It's okay. What projects are you having or are you developing next year? Okay. okay. Playing soccer. Tomorrow play soccer in the afternoon and watch TV uh, at night. Okay. Okay. Our our exactly hours. Uh, uh, I am playing at uh, four o'clock p.m. Oh, okay, oh okay, okay. okay. At four o'clock. At, mm. at four o'clock. I see. Perfect. Um, four and. And 30? Yeah. yeah. And 30 o'clock. Okay, yes, yes. And 30 o'clock tomorrow. 
Foreign study. Be very good. Um, and I uh, and do three. And what are we doing? No, see. Okay, hala dos. Aha. And what are we doing? What are we doing tomorrow night? What are we doing? No, pero como el, el you a veces se ocupa para está en singular, no sé, o sea que se puede ocupar en para es que aquí está preguntando que, como que vamos a hacer mañana en la noche. What are you doing Ajá. tomorrow night? ¿Qué Ajá. va a hacer mañana por la noche? Ajá, pero si digo what are we doing, es que haremos, ¿verdad? Yes, yes. Ajá, bueno, ¿qué vamos a hacer las tres? Tomorrow night. ¿Qué vamos a hacer? Y alguien que conteste. We doing to the dancing. Okay, we are going, we are going we dancing. Are, we are going dancing. We are going dancing, okay. Perfect. We are going dancing, dancing. tomorrow Dance. night. Dance. Dancing. Perfect. Dance. Tomorrow night. Yeah. Finish, guys, or do you need more time? Finish. You have the conversation ready? Tenemos la conversación lista? I suppose. Okay. You have two minutes. Practice it because you are going to represent it. Okay, practice it. Practiquémosla porque la van a representar. By Eliane. Are you ready? Yes. Practice it because you are going to represent it. Practiquemos esta conversacioncita porque la van a representar in the main room. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Helen. Okay, guys, you ready for the presentation? Están listos para represent the conversation? Yeah. Okay. In one minute, we go back. Practice it. Practice it. Okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Estamos con Carlos, verdad? Carlos, es que no no veo por. ¿Qué vas a hacer? Uh -huh. ¿Qué vas a hacer tal día, mañana, o sea, el domingo, la semana siguiente? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. ¿Es la conversación ready? Mm -hmm. so, so. Uh, casi. So, one, so. one minute, one minute, practice it. Hurry up, hurry up. Ok, ok. Um, Andrea, and what are you doing? Uh, the next week. I'm going... In your, in your job. Oh. You don't need to job. say the next week. What are you doing next week? Okay. Okay. What are you doing? Uh, next, next week. Next week. Hey, Joe. Um, I am... I am... Order. Ordering. Ordering. Yes. I am ordering documentation. Okay, perfect. Teacher, y... Uh, Ahí se le agrega el ING. Mm -hmm. Only question the form. Sería la única forma de preguntar. Mm, what are your plans for next week? Mm. 
You can ask like that. What are your plans for next week? What are you... oh, or you can ask, what is your schedule for next week? Okay. What are your no, activities? No solo... Yeah, you can bear no with so... the question. As long no as you necessarily... What are you doing? Yes, exactly. Okay, teacher. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see who's gonna be first. Who's gonna be first? ¿Quién será el primero? Let's see, let's see. Is it going to be? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, Eliani is looking at me. So you are the first, Eliani. You and your group. Okay. My parent is Blanca and Carlos. Okay, okay. Blanca and Carlos. You ready, guys? Yes, yes. I just turn. Okay, perfect. Eliani, what are you doing in the next vacation? I am going to the Atlantis Park in my next vacation. Okay. And Carlos, what are you studying the next year? The next year I study in a customs process. Customs. 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 Customs process. Okay. That's uh, it. Eliani, what are you doing next week? I am visiting in my mother-in-law in the next week. Ooh. Okay, and you, Blanqui, what are you doing next week? I am going to the cinema. Okay. Carlos, what are you doing the next week? The next week, I playing soccer. And Blanca, what are you doing the next Saturday? I am visit my parent in the next Saturday. Finish. Okay, perfect. On Saturday, you can just say on Saturday or you can say next Saturday. You don't need to say on the next Saturday, just next Saturday, okay? Let's see, let's see. Thank you very much. Very well done, guys. Miss Guevara. Please, you and your group. My partner is Mariela and Grecia. My partners are, plural. Are, okay. My partner are Mariela and Grecia. Okay. Okay, I'm start. Hi, Grecia, how are you? Hi, Mariela. Very good. good, thank you. Carlita, how are you? I am fine, thank you. And what are, what are we doing tomorrow night? We are going dancing tomorrow night. Is that okay? <laughs> okay, so these girls are dancing. Perfect, yes. nice. They got nice plans. Thank you very much. Well done. Uh, well done. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Fausto, you and your group, please. My classmates are Andrea and Walter. Okay, perfect. Um, hello, Andrea, Walter, how are you? Fine, and you, Fausto? Hello, uh, Fausto. Very well. Perfect. Right there. What are you, what are you doing on Saturday in the afternoon? Uh, in the afternoon, um, I am soccer play. Uh, um, for night, and uh, two, three, four, drink beer. Oh, great! And you, Andrea? Uh, watching TV and rest. Oh, very good. What about you, Fausto? 
and Saturday? Uh, uh, on Saturday, uh, I am playing football soccer uh, for oh. Oak Rock. Yes. Oh. Uh, and I um, watch TV. Oh, okay. Do Andrea? Uh, only rest. Cool. That's it? Perfect. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Just little details. Remember, playing soccer. You don't need to say playing football soccer. Just playing, playing soccer. soccer. Okay? No soccer play. Okay, no, no. Playing no. soccer. Playing soccer. And then, uh, Walter, you, we don't say two or three beers. We say, uh, we say it like this. Look, we say a couple of beers. A couple of beers. Okay, thank you, teacher. That means some, not exactly two. That means two, three, four, but we say a couple of beers, okay? Thank you, excellent, well done. Uh, let's see. Welcome, teacher. You're welcome, teacher. Miss Valencia, please, Mrs. Valencia. Who's your My group? My classmate is Helen and Jorge, pero okay. solamente only Helen. Conversation. Okay, Jorge, yeah, Jorge was just arriving. Jorge va llegando. Yes. Okay, yes. please, okay. let's do it. Helen, what are you doing on Sunday? I am um, visiting my father on Sunday. Uh, and, uh, and, and what, you and what? what are you doing on Monday? I'm sleeping too late on Sunday. Oh, good. Uh, I am. Uh, What are you doing tomorrow? I am um, wearing the maids tomorrow. Okay. Uh, tomorrow I'm watching the movies at night. Good. Okay. Uh, only. Okay, perfect. Just I am typing just something for you. Uh, because you can say answering mails, but the most common is replying to emails. Look. Answering replying. We reply to emails. Okay? If you open your mail and if it's in English, you are going to see that it says reply. It doesn't say answer, okay? Si usted abre su correo en ese momento y mira ahí y lo tiene en inglés, no le va a decir para responder, no le dice answer, le dice reply, okay? Reply, reply to. Okay. Okay, thank you, thank you. Let's see, who's missing, who's missing? Me falta alguien? Thank you. Yeah, yeah, I think somebody's missing. Mm. Who's missing? Who's missing? Who's missing? Let me see. Pedro, you're missing? Hi, teacher. You're missing, right? Se me falta, ¿verdad? No, 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 no. I, I got it on written, so I'm, I was just checking. Okay. Uh, Who's your partner? My partner, my partner are uh, Francisco. And Felicita. Okay, yeah. perfect, perfect. Okay. Felicita, what are you doing uh, uh, next to the Sunday? Next Sunday. Next Sunday. Felicita. Open your microphone, Felicita. Perfect. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> going to show going to tour on Sunday for morning. Okay. Um uh, this is my no. sister uh, for la tarde. 
In the afternoon. In the afternoon. This is my sister in the afternoon. Okay. Very good. On, on Sunday. Okay. Uh, Francisco, what, what are you doing um, on the next week? Uh, hi, Pedro. I'm planning to fly to Grecia. Okay. In my dreams. <laughs> Greece. To Greece. To Greece. Okay. Great. <laughs> yeah. Pedro. What are you doing for the next for, for the vacation? I I planning to I planning um uh, uh, I Wow. You, you, you say me that you're planning to ride a bicycle all vacation. Yes. <laughs> Running the bicycle. Or to ride a bicycle? That's nice. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. So he's planning to ride. Let's see. Now, thank you very much, guys. Very well done. Excellent conversations, everybody. Let's see. Very good. Uh, Blanca, tell me. What are you doing Sunday morning? Tell me, tell me, tell me. Um, I am doing the, I am going to the beach. Oh, really? Oh, man. I are tried. <laughs> okay, that's nice, that's nice. I was going to invite you for lunch, but you're going to the beach, so I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. What about you? Uh, Let's see. Fausto, what are you doing Sunday afternoon? Tell me. Plans for Sunday in the afternoon. Sunday, I am going to shopping. You are going shopping? Cool. Nice. Yeah. Oh, there's money. That's nice. <laughs> excellent, excellent. Thank you very much. Mariela, Good tell work. me, what are you doing tomorrow? I... I'm I'm watching a series. Oh really? A TV series? All day? All day. Cool. Oh yeah, you got a leave of absence. It's much it's much season. Many season. Ma many season. Ma many season. Okay, that's nice. That's nice. What about you, Eliani? Tell me. What are your plans for tomorrow night? I watch TV oh. in the in the night. At night. At night. So you're watching TV. And what about Sunday? You told me something. Let me remember. What are you doing Sunday, Eliani? I am going to mother in law birthday oh you are going to celebrate your mom your mother in law birthday Ooh. yes nice nice very well let's see what about you grecia what are you doing on sunday morning tell me hi mister i'm going to shirt in the morning oh really cool Nice. Yes. That's very nice. Very nice. Okay. Yes. And let's see. Where's, where's, where's Carlos? Carlos, tell me, what are you doing? What are you doing tomorrow afternoon? In the afternoon, I am, um, bueno, we are to have lunch in family. Oh, really? That's yes. nice. That's nice. A barbecue. <laughs> so, so. Perhaps, perhaps, perhaps. That's nice. Excellent, excellent. Good plans, good plans. Andrea, I know that you are sick, so tell me, in your case, Andrea, what are you doing tomorrow? Oh, watching TV. All day long and rest. 
All right. Correct. That's nice. That's nice. That's cool. Carla, no, well, Carla told me that she's going shopping on Saturday or Sunday. It's tomorrow. You're going shopping tomorrow, right, Carla? Yes. With Fausto. Oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they got a plan already. That's nice. That's nice. Excellent. <laughs> hey, guys, if you see, we are using the present continuous in order to express future. And I am very happy to see that most of you already understood this. Don't worry that next class we are going to continue applying these ideas. Hey, thank you very much. Have a good night. Rest. See you on Monday. See you on Monday. Good night. Get better, Alonso. Get better. Okay, thank you. Bye, teacher. Bye bye, Miss Noemi.